All right, Padres Dodgers pregame thoughts. Blake Snell on the mound tonight for the Padres and what will be the final game between these two teams this season. Obviously, was hoping that the Padres were going to match up against the Dodgers again, maybe in the postseason, but that's not going to happen because the Padres are not going to be in the postseason and the Dodgers, they keep chugging along. Both teams have faced adversity, like I've said, but the Dodgers, they were able to overcome that and the Padres obviously were not. Uh, yeah, with Blake Snell tonight, my underdog fantasy pick, I'm going to go higher on the number of outs that underdog fantasy thinks that he will get. I think they have him going like five and a third. I think he can get over that. That, that doesn't seem like much. And he's going for the Cy Young. He's been going over 100 pitches in, I, I think, most of his outings. So I would definitely go higher on that. That's my recommendation tonight. I don't think he's going to go like seven innings because it is the Dodgers. They're going to have good at-bats off of Blake. But I think he can go like six innings, strong six innings. Um, we know that Bob Melvin knows what's at stake with Blake Snow. He, he keeps getting asked about it by the media and all that. So obviously he knows he's going to give Blake Snow a shot tonight. And this is a big start for Blake in terms of the Cy Young because it's just going to add to that resume if he can have a good outing, right? Because this is going to be two back-to-back -back starts. Astros, Dodgers. That's a pretty good couple outings there. And if he can shut down, now I'm not saying he's going to like shut out the Dodgers, but gave up, I think, two runs in his last outing. If he can do something similar to that tonight, I think that can help him for his Cy Young push. And if he can strike out, you know, eight, 10 guys, that will definitely help. Uh, maybe keep the walks down. Obviously, if he can have a really good outing, that helps. And then I think he has three more starts after tonight left in this season. So we'll see what happens there. Some Padres fans don't care about the Blake Snell Cy Young thing. Like, and I kind of err on that. I know I'm, I, I just spent, you know, two minutes like talking about it, but I, I err on, like, I don't really care because I think he's going to leave, but it's still something that will be cool, right? Like Jake Peavy, his Cy Young and all that. Um, so We'll see what happens with Blake tonight. As for the lineup, Manny, he's not in there. Xander, he's not in there. Xander, he's playing almost every day. So does he deserve a day off? I guess. I mean, season's over, whatever. I don't really care. With Manny, you know, you can make the case that Xander should be shut down. But with Manny, should he be shut down? Yeah, this is the second time in four days that he is not in the lineup. And there's an off day on Thursday. Like, if the Padres were in this, if Manny was actually feeling okay, one, he wouldn't be DHing every day, and two, he'd be in the lineup. Maybe he would have had Sunday off, okay, whatever. It's not like this is a day game after a night game either. Like, no, they're, they're just having him take it off, and now it's going to be back-to-back -back days off going into the Oakland A's series. Like, he would be playing if thing, if games actually mattered, if he was actually okay, he would be playing. So, yeah, as I've said multiple times, the Padres should shut down Manny Machado. I don't understand why they're doing this. They could have the argument of, well, Padres were not mathematically eliminated yet, but you're unofficially eliminated. You're not making the playoffs. Nobody in that clubhouse, I don't think, thinks they're making the playoffs. Bob Melvin doesn't think they're making the playoffs. Everyone does not think that they're making the playoffs. They all think that they're missing it. They're going to be on the couch come October 2nd or whenever the regular season ends. There's no wild card series happening. So the only thing that could happen here with Manny if he continues to play is something else bad happen. I don't know if he can make the elbow injury worse, but something else could happen and something else could happen to other players as well that aren't dealing with something as big as Manny is dealing with, right? Where off-season surgery could happen. So you could say, well, Ben, Trent Grisham or whoever could hurt themselves. Like, that's just a risk that you have playing baseball. But what I would say to that is, okay, that's fair, but not everyone has a decade contract, you know, after this season. Not everyone is dealing with something that they could just go get surgery on to get a kickstart on this thing to be back a little bit earlier in his off-season preparation and be ready for spring training and feeling better. Not everyone's in that same situation as Manny is in. So, yeah, just shut him down. I mean, look at the lineup tonight. Okay, Kim, Tati, Soto, but then Luis Camposano is hitting fourth. Jerickson Profar, who they just brought back up to the big league club, just signed him. He's their five hitter in DHing. 
Then Garrett Cooper, Trent Grisham, who bunted with the bases loaded yesterday. Don't know what he was doing there. Uh, Matthew Batten, he is at second base, and Edgar Rosario is hitting ninth. Like, that lineup is very weak. I would not have believed you. I would have thought everybody got hurt, which isn't the case. I mean, Manny, yeah, he's playing through injury, and Xander, he's probably playing through some injury as well. But if I looked at that lineup on opening day, and I would have told myself, yeah, that's going to be the lineup here in mid-September, or whatever the date is today, I would not have believed you. But what? No Matt Carpenter? No Nelson Cruz? No Manny when you're fighting for a division, probably? No Bogarts when you're fighting for a division, probably? There's a day off tomorrow before an Oakland series? You're facing the Dodgers? Yeah, they're definitely going to be in the lineup. This isn't what this lineup's going to look like. Are you kidding? Camposano hitting fourth? What? What? Eggy Rosario, Matthew Batten in there in these important September games? But that's not where we're at. These aren't important September games. They're important some, for some like in individual players, maybe, to get a head start on spring training roster competition. But these these don't matter. And it, it sucks to say that. There's a lot to talk about on the show tonight, not just about this Padres Dodgers series, but Musgrove, Darvish, Manny, a lot to talk about. So please join me live stream on YouTube a little bit after the game. I'll do my post game reaction video as always. And then I'll do my live stream where you can come join the show if you want as well. So see you then.